What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today, me and the rest of the Marsman crew break down the gameplay direct of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And before we jump into the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you like this type of content. Now, on to the video. We're going to talk about the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and they had their gameplay breakdown especially today. So, obviously, the video break comes out. We recorded the day of the official breakdown. And this was kind of a shocker when they first announced that they're going to do a direct just for Legend of Zelda, the next installment. I thought that, hey, you know, Nintendo's always known for doing this like way, way later than what everyone wanted to see the gameplay. But, you know, we, we finally got to see what is the game going to do. And basically, this shows that the game is officially done. I think uh, Asmund Gold made the joke of, wait, I'm, I'm so used to hearing developers, Western developers be like, oh, well, we're, it's a live service. So it comes out. It finishes later on it was like wow this game is actually complete it's done like that's that's a good that's a good thing to hear and you know what we did see in this game preview and i and what i'll kind of just get your vibes on what you guys thought about it but i thought it was a good breakdown mainly because they showed us kind of what to expect with the land what they what to expect with the gameplay me uh, mechanics um and i think the biggest thing i saw was obviously the different layers that you can see the, the sky layer is now like the brand new component of the game and getting there is like different there's different ways to do it like i think the biggest thing for me was the different gameplay mechanics that had changed yeah. and it's really about your 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 sheikah powers i think is the, the the official names of them but like having the ability to fuse weapons is such a smart and little thing that i didn't think about like it's almost like crafting but you're fusing weapons or fusing items together to make weapons enhanced and I thought that was a smart thing because they kind of made the premise of like, oh no, your your weapon's broken. Like your weapon breaks all the time in Legend of Zelda. So, all right, how do you fix a broken weapon? Well, let's fuse two things together to make the weapon better, right? And I think yeah. that's something so, so small, but it just fits exactly to what you would think. And even like melting into different areas, reversing time, all these different little, and there's more of them, but there's the little components like that all made sense in this, in this game. Like they all made sense. The only concern that I have based on what i see is that one on the file size it does not seem like it's that large in scale like compared to the the previous game it's i guess what the biggest legend of the game but how much bigger was it than breath of the wild it didn't seem uh, like it was four, that big four gigabytes yeah like it's not that big difference but for right? nintendo it's the biggest nintendo game so it's hard i know to like oh i mean like, breath of the wild though. was the biggest <laughs> nintendo game so it was like how much is 40 gigabytes bigger right and and i get it it's it's a it's a mini micro micro sd yeah. but th the point is, is that it's still gigabyte size so even that being the case and looking at what i saw with the expansion they did my fear is and i said this to the kill off camera that i'm i don't want this to be an expansion i don't want this to be feel like it's a a dlc of breath of the wild i want this to feel like it's a sequel like that like you go from ocarina of time to majora's mask i want that big i want that difference not saying like Majora's Mask was like the first ever we saw of like an open world kind of game for Legend of Zelda. I guess you would, some people would probably criticize me for saying that, but it kind of was like back then. And you can set, you can tell based on the map size, the abilities, the different things you could do, it was a sequel. Like as much as the mechanics were identical to the first game of like targeting and attacking, but they added so much to that second game that you can tell right away, like this is no DLC, there's no expansion. And I really want to see that with Terrors of the Kingdom. I really want to see, you know, is this, this is not a, just like an addition to what, like, I want this to be bigger. So if they give you sky areas, I want them to see a below area. I want them to see like underneath the rock because you just adding platforms, like you just turning this into Skyward Sword. Like that's all this is. And, and that's not enough to make it feel bigger. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you have another layer to explore, but like, it's not even a full, it's, it's, pieces right so that's kind of my my criticisms of it so uh there's no rating but i kind of just get your opinions about what you saw so i want to go with angelic hill next what was your opinions about what this gameplay breakdown they had yeah now this was a focus on gameplay so um from what i saw gameplay wise i loved the new abilities all of them um really helping you climb mountains where you know it was a real struggle with stamina trying to climb things so having another way to get to the top of different areas was I think a pretty good one. The fusing thing, like you said, that was the real home run for me, um, was the fusing of different weapons. And it brings creativity to the player, which is, I think, 
really important in open world games, right? I mean, creating different ways to do things, I think is an important aspect in open world. And the way you can fuse different things together, I think does that and create, not even that, but like creating cars, creating boats, creating flying machines that we've seen in a preview, not this one, but a previous trailer. Like those are really cool aspects to the gameplay. For the bad, I agree with you about this. I do not, I, I'm not fearing it much to be a DLC. I remember a lot of people were afraid of God of War being a DLC when they didn't show you uh, what the map was and, and it ended up working out for God of War. So I, I'm not in that same boat that I fear this is a DLC, but I do agree with you on how much a differentiation is the map going to be from Breath of the Wild. Is it just going to be Skyward Sword platforms at the top of the map and then the bottom layer, which is, again, different, but, you know, it doesn't different differentiate that much um so i would like to see like you said a lower level uh maybe underground level or added addition of dungeons um i do think dungeons would be an important aspect which was not in breath of the wild a lot of people complain that that was not in the game but another layer to it besides just the skyward platforms i think is an important part yeah so uh let's go jump to hockey next what did you feel overall on this breakdown yeah, so I'm still playing the uh, Breath of the Wild right now. I actually uh, was on it uh, just just the other day, and it's a great game. So I, I don't believe that this game is going to lack, um, you know, in the uh, in the ability to um, give you great gameplay. And that's what this short showed us. It showed us some gameplay, like you guys mentioned. It showed you those new abilities, and Langella Hill, uh, you know, just highlighted them. The ability to fuse the weapons. And I was going to say the same thing about the, you know, the the car and the, and the boat and the things that we saw in the previous trailer that really got us excited. You know, we were asking how the heck yeah. are, how are we making do that, boats yeah. or yeah, well, how are we making cars? Are you, you going to find them around the map? And um, kind of, again, like Langella Kill said, it gave you um, the opportunity to, you know, use your imagination and, and um, you know, create things in the world that you're playing in, which is cool. Um, I don't really have anything negative to say right now because I'm still playing the Breath of the Wild. So and I know that was, you know, one of the best uh, Zelda games in, in general. So, again, if they keep it like Breath of the Wild gameplay, you know, enemies, that open world uh, feeling, then I think they're going to knock it out of the park. Yeah. So, I mean, I feel like that's the kind of the big thing when it comes to Legend of Zelda. I, I thought I like. I'm so you. I'm super excited about it. I'm excited. I'm excited. excited. I was yeah. more excited after that gameplay trailer. I'm excited about the game coming out, and I've already pre-ordered the game. I wanted to avoid that $70 drop that they, you know, that they uh, kind of threatened everyone with. So I I pre-ordered the game already. Um, it's already ready to go digital download for me, because um, at least then me, both me and Langello Kill can play at the same time. Essentially, I think we both because I you're on my family plan, so we can actually technically play at the same time if we wanted to. I can play mine, you can play yours. Uh, which would be yeah, pretty dope to do. Plan, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I, I know they say you can add a family plan now, so yeah, if, I, if I buy it on my console, then essentially you can pass it over to everyone else, I think. so. I mean, worst case scenario is, yeah, you're just buy it I mean, again. just buy it again. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, like, that'd be pretty yeah. dope to be able to play, all yeah. of us play it at the same time and see how far we get, see what our kind of, uh, our, uh, what, what's our feelings about it. And we'll definitely have a full review of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We'll even have a discussion about it as a group too, but I was excited to hear about this and, and be able to play this, so definitely all in on that. Tell us what do you what do you think overall about some of the breakdowns we had, and please let us know in the comments below. And obviously, if you haven't done so yet, if you like this type of content, consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribing to kind of catch up on the, any new videos that we do drop, and join us on Twitch, which is located in the description below. We do two to three streams a week, and love us. I, I would definitely love to see you there. And obviously join us on all of our socials also located in the description below. But until next time, this is Mars Brand along with the Mars Brand crew signing off. Peace out, guys.